Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my name is Ellie and I've just finished my degree at the University of Leeds and I'll be going on to study a Masters in Mathematics at the University of Cambridge in September. So today I thought because I've done my degree now, you know I'm going on to do a Masters but I've done the first three years, I've done my degree at Leeds, I thought I would share with you some tips and advice I have you know, just general advice for approaching a maths degree as well as study advice and tips, I guess. Just advice that hopefully will be of benefit to those of you that watch my videos and anyone, I suppose, regardless of whether you study maths, just anyone that goes to university, particularly STEM, but obviously very specifically maths. So I guess I'll dive straight into the video and tell you what my top tricks and tips are for studying a maths degree. Okay, so there's not really going to be much structure to what I say. I think, you know, I've basically just written a list on, on my laptop of things that I would just say to anyone that does go and study a maths degree. So there's no kind of order with these. It's just, you know, tips, uh, general tips. So the first thing that I would say is, and this is really, really important, take modules you enjoy. I've probably said this countless times across all my other videos. I cannot stress how important it is when you study a maths degree to take modules you enjoy because it makes things so much easier. I have found the modules that I enjoy the most. I want to do the work for them. I do often do better for them. I am just generally enthused by studying the, the, the module itself. You know, if you are taking a module because your friends are taking it and you end up hating it. You know, I, I made the mistake of doing that at A-level. I took a, an AS that I thought, oh yeah, you know, a lot of my friends are doing it, I'll take it. And that was the biggest mistake ever. So I learned that when I went to university, I realised that if I took modules I was interested by, then I couldn't go far wrong. And as a little bit of an example, someone said to me that fluid dynamics was supposed to be incredibly hard. Everyone in the year above had said, don't take it, it's awful, like just don't do it. And I thought, okay, but I'm interested in it, you know, it's gonna be hard, but if I'm interested, hopefully, you know, it would be okay. And I took it and it was okay, I enjoyed it. And here I am today going to study more fluid dynamics at the University of Cambridge. So don't let other people's opinions, that's I suppose a side bit of advice, don't let other people's opinions sway what you take at university, but just take modules that you think will interest you and ones that you enjoy because it will make your life so much easier at university. The next thing I would say, and this is something that I'm putting earlier on in this video because I've just done three years at degree level, don't put too much pressure on yourself. You are there to have a good time, you're there to have a good experience. I can honestly say it's not worth it. I've been there a couple of times where I've just put way too much pressure on myself and it's just not worth it at all. You know, some people really really want to get first and I was one of those people that really wanted to get first. I was fortunate that I worked incredibly hard and was able to do really well in my second year and that reassured me a bit for my third year but it's not worth it. At the end of the day if you have a degree you have a degree that's the most important thing. The grade doesn't matter. You know I see LinkedIn posts all the time on my LinkedIn and there are people saying I got a 2-2 at university and look at what I'm doing grades don't matter you know they don't define you it's not worth your mental health it's really not what i did was i changed my mind mindset from i need to get these grades you know i need to do well from i changed it from that to well if i enjoy everything i do and i take modules i enjoy and i'm just genuinely enthused by what i do it takes away that pressure because instead of being in the mindset of i need to do well added pressure you're in the mindset of wow I'm really enjoying this and the pressure just seems to go away so that ties in nicely with my first point you know take modules you enjoy but just don't put too much pressure on yourself easier said than done I know it's just not worth it I can say after doing three years it's not worth it <laughs> okay so now on to a point that's more study wise what I found at university that really helped me was doing cue cards and active recall so at maths, at a maths degree, obviously some of it's applied, but you do pure maths as well, and you will have to take certain pure maths modules because it's compulsory. You have to, you know, you take a whole variety of different modules in first year and kind of leading into second year as well. You have that much of a variety that doing cue cards really helped me. I would literally write every single thing down that was on the lecture notes, that were in the written lecture notes, that were in the tutorial sheets, were in the homework sheets, were in the written notes that we did in, in the lectures every single thing I wrote on a cue card it doesn't matter if it's something as easy as what's one plus three that's you know that's not an example of what I put but it's not it doesn't matter how easy it is as long as you have cue cards and you are actively recalling information and remembering it it really helps 
I found for the more pure maths modules, obviously I prefer applied maths, but for the more pure maths modules that really helped because often you'll be asked to prove something and if you don't know the theorems that will help you prove it, you're not going to be able to do it kind of thing. So cue cards, active recall, probably the best thing you can do with, with maths in terms of more pure maths I would say. Obviously applied maths it's more just practice questions but I'll get onto that point in just a minute. So the next point and this is something that I learned pretty much as soon as I got to university and I think a lot of people don't realise it I suppose until it's too late I would say is at A level you learn the content, it's written by an exam board. At university it, the exam is written by the lecturer the same lecturer that releases the lecture notes, that teaches you the lectures, that sometimes will help in tutorials, you know, that will email you and, and let you know certain information. Listen to every single thing they say, because I will guarantee you at some point they may lead a hint into what may be on the exam, what might not be on the exam, and far rather you're in a lecture where they may say, oh, this is non-examinable, you don't need to worry, than not be in that lecture and revise for it anyway, and it was pointless or you know they may drop hints and tips here and there just listen to every single thing they say it is the most important piece of advice i can give because they are the ones that are writing your exam and they are the ones that are assessing you listen to every single thing they say um because it will help you massively and similarly to what tutorials they release tutorial sheets things like that when i did a levels it was very much I did like all the past papers and they were very very similar and then the year that I took them for some reason they just wanted to change everything up and obviously you know I, I kind of expected it to be a certain format it's different at a university it's very much your exams probably will follow a very similar format to previous years and so revising the way the lecturer has taught you is the best way to revise then on to this point that I mentioned previously practice that I know this is probably something that is said a lot in maths and it's probably across all the tips and advice tricks for maths. Practicing is the best thing specifically for applied maths modules, you know pure maths as well because you will have to do proofs and things but applied maths it's more of a here's how you apply it rather than a memory game I would say. When you are practicing try your hardest not to look at the mark scheme. What I have found is if you have tutorials or you have question sheets the best way of learning is by making your own mistakes that's what one of my favorite lecturers says at uni you know the only way you're going to learn is by making mistakes you could do a question and you could do it completely wrong it doesn't matter don't get disheartened because you will definitely not do it that exact same way again because you've learned from your mistakes and it's more likely that you will learn how to do them if you don't just look at the mark scheme straight away similarly if you have tutorials i would 100% do the tutorials before you go because you can have a good discussion with the lecturers, I with the tutors. I found that a lot of people just don't do the tutorials before they go, they just kind of wait and expect the, the tutor to teach them everything. If you attempt them before you go then you are getting the written solutions there already but you can ask questions about maybe oh I want to do it this way, does this way work as well. It's very helpful to try any problem you have before getting the mark scheme. So that's another piece of advice that I would give. Another piece of advice is ask for help. So lecturers have office hours for a reason. You can go and ask for help. You can, if you're stuck on a problem, then they will help you through it. You know, I found specifically at Leeds, every single academic member of staff has been beyond helpful. If I'm stuck with something, they'll help. If it's something that, you know, if I'm interested in something or I want to learn more around the area, they'll help they are there to help you there are people that will help you if they don't help you but it's very rare that the lecturer doesn't help you you know they're teaching you for a reason i would say with a maths degree it can get hard yeah and sometimes you can be stuck in a rut for ages don't be embarrassed to ask for help because that's just part of the process of of learning maths you you're supposed to be challenged you're supposed to get stuck at here and there you know just ask for help and ask for guidance with things if you're stuck don't be embarrassed i kind of did get to a point where i was like well you know i want to know everything i want to be able to do it myself and it's fine if you don't you know 70 percent is a first for a reason at university you don't need to know absolutely everything to get a first and i think that was a mistake i made in first year was i was like i need to get everything right and you soon learn that 
you know, 70% is a first for a reason. Don't put too much pressure on yourself. You can literally drop 30% in an exam and still get a first. And 30% is a lot. We do maths, you know, it's quite a lot It's 30% when you think about studying for an exam. It's it's a lot, especially compared to A-level as well. Because for an A-level, it was, you know, 90% for an A-star. Throughout my degree, and especially towards the later stages of modules, a lot of exams, and I know things are turning back to normal now with COVID, they are doing i believe three hour exams now i'm not sure whether they sit down I'm, I'm honestly not too sure covid has kind of disrupted things for me personally anyway but for a normal sit down exam a lot of lectures actually just ask you to regurgitate material in the lecture notes when i was doing practice questions for this year obviously covid has changed things so there were sit down exams i knew i wasn't going to get asked any material that was in the lecture notes so when it came to doing practice questions i was quite surprised that when I looked at the past papers, how much of it was just in the lecture notes. So that's why I say when I do cue cards, go through the entire lecture notes, memorise proofs, memorise honestly anything in the lecture notes you can be assessed on. Don't skip over anything. The only thing I would say is back to the whole 70% of things. If you make cue cards on things and you're not getting some of them right, it doesn't matter, you know there are times where you won't get things right though you know i wouldn't say that when i went and did exams i could remember every single thing that were on cue cards active recall really helps so the sooner you can make cue cards and the sooner you can test yourself the better 100 percent or just active recall you know write down a theorem and then write it on a piece of paper or on the back of it you know cue cards sometimes aren't big enough to, <laughs> to write a lot of maths um and in fact i'm going to show you now my my all of the cue cards i've got this was because obviously now i'm just going to sit and talk a second this was because obviously with covid i didn't really need cue cards as much because it was a sit down exam i didn't need to test myself on the material um i just made summary sheets but i literally have so many cue cards left over and so many i'm taking to cambridge because i know cambridge is definitely a sit down exam um i don't know if you can see all of those I remember the cue cards for my second semester January exams. I'm sure I have a picture. If I do, I'll put it on the screen right now. I'm sure there were about 700 cue cards I wrote and I went through all of them because sometimes it gets to a point where there is literally nothing else you can do other than just remember all the material. So yeah, active recall definitely really helps and, and cue cards really help. I guess the final piece of advice I would give, and this is probably one that I should have mentioned at the start, but if you've made it through this entire video, then thank you for staying with me. The final thing I would say is mindset. I was just thinking then, you know, I'd written everything down and, and I was thinking, what is the one thing that's really, really important? And I know Claire Isabel mentioned this in her video as well, is your mindset. Uh, imposter syndrome will creep up with you. It does, it happens. Um, you know, you could be the most confident person ever and sometimes you just have a bit of a blip and that's fine. You know, uni is there to test you, a maths degree is definitely there to test you. Don't worry if you have down days or days where you think you don't want to do a degree anymore. I will admit I went through a pretty tough first semester in, in second year, um, just for personal reasons. And I kind of got to a point where I was like, maybe I don't want to do maths anymore. Maybe this degree isn't for me. Maybe I just want to go straight into a grad job and, and be away from it and then I did a module I enjoyed, Fluid Dynamics, I kind of got out of that rut, I was like I am good enough, I can do this, it's going to be okay and then at the end of second year I was a completely different person, I was like I love maths, I want to do maths, I love physics, I you know, I want to do Fluid Dynamics, all this and this, so it's okay if you are in a place where you're struggling, you will get out of it, if you are struggling there are support, there is support available at the university i the maths department at leeds really helped me before i went to university just because i had a head injury if you've watched my q a video then you'll know about that um and that happened just before i went to university so i was a little bit stressed and they helped ease me in with that so yeah what i would say is mindset is probably the best thing just continually tell yourself i find um, positive affirmations really help it may sound a bit cringy or whatever listening to somebody tell you how amazing you are but i think they help i think if you continually reiterate in your brain that you can do it that you will do it that it's going to be okay then it will be okay so being in that frame of mind of i can do this i will do this i enjoy everything that i do massively helps and just believe in yourself that is 
probably the last piece of advice I would give is believe in yourself. You are better than what you think you are. Remember, 70% is a first for a reason. You don't need to know everything. You don't need to be a perfectionist. I'm guilty of being a massive perfectionist and sometimes that can hinder you. And looking back on three years, it's not worth it at all. Just go, enjoy the maths, enjoy the modules, enjoy the experience of university, being with friends, you know, meet friends in maths, find little study groups that you can have together. The best thing I think is actually being around other people. I'm adding more and more tips onto this now, but yeah, that is, I suppose, a side tip is being around people who study modules similar to you helps because you learn from each other. So definitely making friends helps, but equally fluid dynamics, I literally knew no one in that because it was virtual. You didn't really get a chance to meet people like you would in normal lectures. So, and I did fluid dynamics all by myself. All of those modules were just completely by myself. So don't worry if you don't have a good, you know, big friendship group. But back to the point I was trying to make was, yeah, mindset, definitely. Tell yourself you can do it, you will do it. And I'm sure everyone, whether you're going to university or thinking of applying, you're currently at university, you will be amazing, you will do amazing and I believe in you and everyone else believes in you as well so enjoy it go enjoy the experience and just have a good time enjoy it as much as I've enjoyed it because I've honestly had the best three years ever so yes I guess we're ending the video on a really high note my voice is currently giving way because I've filmed so many videos today I keep saying in every video <laughs> my voice is giving way and then I go and film another video because uh, I'm stupid but anyway I'm going to end the video now I hope this has been useful this has been one of the most requested kind of videos on my channel so there you are, my tips and tricks of doing a maths degree. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, then please like, subscribe and comment and I will see you all in the next video.